Big breaking news coming in from Amravati in Andhra Pradesh. The government officials in Andhra Pradesh have served a demolition notice to Nara Chandrababu Naidu, the former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. This regards to his house, a rented accommodation belonging to the Lingamanini Group, which is constructed right on the Krishna River Bank, which is why the government of Andhra Pradesh believes that it is an unauthorized construction. It's an illegal construction and has to be demolished. Remember, only three days back, over the week uh, after Tuesday, on Tuesday night, the Praja Vedika, which is constructed adjacent to Chandrababu Naidu's residence and which he was using when he was chief minister for his official government meetings as well as for his Telugu Desam party meetings, was demolished by the Jagan Mohan Reddy government. Jagan Mohan Reddy believed that it reeked both of corruption as well as of illega illegality, which is why the Praja Vedika reportedly constructed at a cost of 8.9 crore rupees, though the TDP has um, challenged that cost um, uh, factor, but nevertheless, it was completely demolished now Chandrababu Naidu's house also could come under the hammer they, they have said that they will also demolish it he has been given one week's time to reply to the notice issued by the government of Andhra Pradesh in fact there are reportedly over 50 such structures which are constructed within 100 meters of the Krishna River Bank and therefore they should not be there they are illegal report uh, 20 such structures we are told have been issued notices by the Andhra Pradesh government and they will have to also reply just like Chandrababu Naidu within a week's time in fact after the Praja Vedika was demolished in fact when Naidu was not in town he was on a foreign holiday and had just returned to Hyderabad Naidu has told the TDP leaders that he would move out of the house because he does not want the embarrassment and the humiliation of his house coming in for demolition. So he would look for another rented accommodation somewhere in Vijayawada or anywhere in the Amravati capital um, uh, city region and uh, where he could move to if the Lingamanini rented house um, uh, was uh, demolished. Now, what does this essentially mean? Uh, that Jagan Mohan Reddy wants to send across a clear message that he will not tolerate any illegality as far as environmental norms are concerned. Remember, there is also a case pending in the High Court which was filed by one of the now present MLAs of the YSR Congress, Allah Ramakrishna Reddy, who has been at the forefront of fighting the unauthorized constructions which have come along the Krishna River Bank and uh, Allah Ramakrishna Reddy is on record saying that all these structures will have to go. So can the government actually go ahead and demolish the structures even as the case is pending in the High Court? What will the TDP go? Will it go to court? We'll have to wait and watch against this demolition notice. But the larger message that Jagan Mohan Reddy is sending out is that he will not tolerate any illegality. Yes, this also kind of gives in the political twist because it means that Jagan Mohan Reddy, it will be interpreted if he is almost in vengeance mode. He wants to kind of corner Chandrababu Naidu, also show him as a person, as a chief minister who violated uh, environmental norms grossly in order to benefit himself, to have his own house, to have his own uh, Praja Vedika, the annex where he would hold meetings. So essentially a case of um, tit for tat in a sense, he wants to show just because just like Chandrababu Naidu always used to taunt Jagan Mohan Reddy as someone who had to attend court every day in connection with his disproportionate assets case. Jagan Mohan Reddy also wants to show that Chandrababu Naidu was a corrupt chief minister. So that's the kind of politics that is being played out in Andhra Pradesh at, the, at this point in time. But definitely the manner in which the swiftness with which Jagan Mohan Reddy and his regime are moving forward and many would see this as targeting of Chandrababu Naidu definitely means that the relationship between the ruling party and the principal opposition party has completely collapsed, completely crumbled. It's going to be an extremely uh, vitriolic and bitter relationship, political relationship that Chandrababu Naidu and Jagan Monadi already have and this is only going to make it worse. Of course, the other political developments taking place is that a number of TDP uh, leaders are jumping over to the BJP. So Chandrababu Naidu being um, I mean, f pushed to the wall both politically as well as administratively by the YSR Congress on one hand and the BJP on the other hand. We will get you more updates coming in from Amravati through the day but this is definitely a big political development which has taken place in Amravati in Andhra Pradesh. Thank you very much for watching Filter Copy. Do subscribe to Filter Copy and click on the bell icon to get regular updates.